In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, peace be upon you, my dear sons, students of Tabuk private schools, intermediate stage, grade one. Today, God willing, we are dealing with unit 10, saying goodbye. Listen to the wrong present. Exercise one, look, match, listen, and answer. Let's start listening to the dialogue between Rania and Penny. Lesson two. The wrong present. Exercise one. Look, match, listen, and answer. One. Did you hear, Penny? Ibrahim and Fahad got lost this afternoon. Oh, no. Are they okay? Yes, they're fine. A policeman helped them. He showed them the way to the mosque, and now they're back at the hotel. Good. And now... Rima and I have something for you, Penny. This is for you. And Nina, this is for you. Go on, open it. Two. Oh, a teach yourself Arabic book. And I have a Saudi cookbook. Oh no, Mum. They have the wrong presents. I'm so sorry, Nina, Penny. The cookbook's for you, Penny. And the Teach Yourself book's for you, Nina. We're so sorry. Don't worry. It's okay. Thank you, Rima. This is a great present. Now I can really learn Arabic. And I can cook more exciting food. Can I help you, Mum? Okay. Did Fahd and Ibrahim go to the mosque? After being lost, yes. What does Rima want Nina to do? She wants her to open her present. Number three, what do you think is going to happen? They have been given the wrong present. Okay, moving to uh, exercise 1C. Are these sentences true or false? Benny, Rania gives Benny a Saudi cookbook. No, the sentence is false. Rima gives Nina a Saudi cookbook. That's true. And it was a mistake. Nina's going to cook some Saudi food. It's also true. Moving to exercise two, lock. These are some punctuation marks. When do we use false stops, question marks, capital letters, and apostrophes? False stop. Used to show the end of a sentence. A statement. Question marks, used to show questions at the end of a question. Capital letters, used at the beginning of a sentence. Any sentence, for I, for names, days, months, and places. Apostrophes, used to show position. It's Hassan's book. Here is the position. And to show abbreviation, I am his with etc. Okay, let's move to exercise three. Read, write, listen, and say. Read what is yes or learning in Dave's English class. Copy the bone in your notebook, correct the punctuation. Let's start listening. Lesson two. The wrong present. Exercise three. Read, write, listen, and say. I'm writing you a letter. What are you doing, my friend, my friend? What are you doing, my friend? I'm writing you a letter. I'm telling you the news. I'm putting on my coat. And I'm putting on my shoes. I'm going to the post box. I have no time to lose. I'm sending you a letter. I must be on my way. It's 20 pages long. I have a lot to say. I'm sending a letter, a long, long letter. I'm sending a letter to my friend today. Okay, here, this is a question. So we put a question mark. Here, we need an apostrophe, I am. Here, a statement, a sentence, we put a 
full stop here we put an apostrophe let's move to exercise 4 read number and listen put the phone call into the correct order let's start listening lesson 2 the wrong present exercise 4 read number and listen Oxford 657820, Jim speaking. Hello, Jim. It's Farhad here. Hello, Farhad. I'm leaving now. I'm going back to Bournemouth. I'd like to say thank you for all your help. I didn't do much. You booked my room? You welcomed me? Oh, it was nothing. It was my pleasure. And a pleasure to meet you. Look, Farhad. You must come and visit us again. Thank you very much. I'd like that. Well, I must go now. Thanks again. Goodbye, Jim. Bye, Fahad. Okay, let's move to the workbook. Exercise one, right. Answer these questions. Use short answers. All these questions start with a helping verb. Are you Saudi Arabian? Yes, I am. Are you English? No, I am not. I am Saudi. Did you go to school today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you have an English lesson? Yes, I have. Yes, I did also. Number five, are you going to school tomorrow? Yes, I am. Did you go on holiday last year? No, I didn't. Did you always wear a seat belt in the car? Of course, yes, I did. Did you study English six years ago? No, I didn't. Exercise two, match the jobs and the pictures. This is a waiter. Number one, doctor, picture E, a pilot, picture A, postman, picture D, and a baker, picture B. Choose, underline the correct words. Number one, that's not Nina's sweater, it's mine. Yes. Is this your, yours dictionary? No, it's Rakan or Rakan's. The answers? Your, followed by dictionary, and Rakan's. Could you lend me your phrase book? Here, here's marks in the exam were better than my or mine. Here's and mine. That's their, theirs house across the road. This is our, ours here. Their and ours. Exercise four, label the animals in the picture. Number one, hippo. Number two, monkey. Number three, giraffe. Number four, lion. Five, snake number six elephant number seven zebra underline the stressed syllable grandma grandpa dictionary Again, grandma, grandpa, dictionary, pineapple, raincoat, sandwich, skewer, and spinach. All these words have a stress on the first syllable. Yes. Exercise six, complete. Can you write a poem like, yes, sir? Complete the poem, use these words. Dark, next, okay, park, text, and text again.
I have a lot to do today. I have a lot to do. I'm going to the zoo today. I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to the park today. I'm going to the park. I hope the weather stays okay. The clouds are very dark. I'm sending you a text. I have too much to do to do today. What am I doing? Next, tell me meet again. Thank you and goodbye.